Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So my client today is a mommy to be. She's a first time mom, and her baby shower is on Saturday. So she came in with an inspo set, and but she wanted to change a few things from the inspo set. She still wanted the basic colors, her uh, different shades of browns and the lavender. Um, for her colors, but she wanted me to kind of freestyle the set a little bit. She also requested that I do French tips instead of the whole nail. So I was kind of like, okay, um, you, so you don't want the inspo set. You know, I was trying to make sure you surely don't want the inspo set because you know, I am not a freestyle girly. I am definitely one of those people who like doing inspo sets more than doing um freestyle sets i guess because when you tell me to just freestyle and do some honey i get straight brain freeze like i just don't know what to do you know because honestly i'm always trying to figure out what colors you like what colors you don't like do you want this do you don't want this you know but if you kind of give me an inspo set i know how to play off of that you know what i'm saying i might not get it as Perfect as the inspo set is, but I definitely will get it as similar to the inspo set as possible. But she was, you know, she was like, I trust you. I know that you know what you're doing. I just want them French. I want different shades of browns and I want lavender, but I want a little bit extra. So while I was doing her nails, I definitely was thinking about what to do and how to bring her nails out. As much as possible, because your girl was shook. She was, you know, I was a little bit on the scared side because I just wanted her set to come out as good as possible. I'm one of those people, I'm my biggest critic, and when I feel like I didn't do my best, it just, it bothers me. Even though I have been doing nails, um, doing other people's nails, not just doing my own, but doing other people's nails for going on three years now. It was probably going on four, actually. Um, I still get nervous. I still get butterflies. I still um, criticize myself to the highest. And I shouldn't always do that, but I do um, when it comes to doing a set. Now, the acrylic that I'm using is from Young, not Young Nails, I'm sorry, from Dynamic Nail Supply. I, you know, I cannot talk enough about Dynamic Nail Supply's acrylics. They're affordable and they are a good quality product. Um, and this one is actually called Enchanted Nude, I believe. And y'all, when I say this acrylic lays like butter, it lays like butter. Like, I had no problems with this acrylic at all. At all. Now, the monomer that I'm using, and it's good when it comes to, like, um, say if you're not using a dynamic nail supply a monomer, but you're using, like, me. I'm using Young Nails Monomer. It works so good with Young Nails Monomer. Even with me, a secret monomer, if you're a person that uses me, a secret products, I do have a few of me, a secret products, and sometimes I do use me, a secret monomer. It works great with even that. Me, a secret, or um, Young Nails, I can really say this acrylic works very well with them. Um, so... As you can see, as I'm applying my acrylic, I'm making sure that I'm cleaning off my sidewalls, making sure that I'm keeping my shape as much as possible. You know, I always say, please make sure you focus on your acrylic lay and please make sure you focus on your prep. Those are the two main things that you need to focus on. First off, when it comes to applying, um, doing nails, applying your acrylic and all that good stuff. I am just, right now, I'm so proud of myself on how long it actually took me to do this whole entire acrylic lay. It took me under 20 minutes to do both her hands. And I probably spent maybe 10 minutes on both hands. So it was a really, really good acrylic lay. We even stopped. Well, I can kind of count a few minutes that cut off a few minutes because we kind of stopped like I said before she is pregnant and she had to go to the bathroom baby sitting on her bladder and all that good stuff um but yeah it only took me 
under 20 minutes, I'll say under 20 minutes to do her whole entire acrylic lay. I'm getting so much better when it comes to doing that. So I'm going to let you guys just continue to watch me apply the acrylic and I'll be back so I can explain the actual nail part part because like I said, I had no idea what I was going to do when it came to that set. After applying my acrylic, I always go back in once the acrylic has set and pull the skin back from the side walls to go up under the nail. Then I go over the nail. Then I hit the side walls and then I shaping up my tip. Now, when it comes to making sure that you pull that skin back, most people say, oh, well, if you don't um, have any acrylic or do your apply your acrylic correctly, you shouldn't have any skin up under there. I don't care how many times you apply your acrylic correctly, you will still have to release that side wall from a little bit of acrylic. Even if it's just a little bit, you still have to do it. You guys, um, people will make you feel like you're doing it wrong just because they just come out of the gate doing stuff so perfectly. And that's why I created my channel because I wanted you guys to see mistakes i wanted you guys to see me correcting those mistakes or fixing those mistakes the best way i knew how po knew possible because i know that i am not the only one out there that makes mistakes and i didn't want anyone feeling like they couldn't do nails because they was making so many mistakes well honey i'm here to be the mistake person to show you the the way to correct those mistakes when we do make them. Now, because my acrylic was laid pretty good, I didn't have that much work to do uh, when it came to reshaping the nails. But I always say, please make sure you go back in and, to, and reshape your nails. Uh, because you're going to lose a lot of shaping when you apply that acrylic. Especially if you're one of those people who focus so much on shaping in the beginning um, when, once you apply the tips, I'm not one of those who have, uh, focus on shaping too much in the beginning because I got to go back in and reshape the nails anyway. So I'm going to give it a nice little outline, but in the end, that's when I really, you know, focus on the shaping once I apply my acrylic. Um, so as you can see, I'm just hitting those side walls, going on top of the nail, and um, making sure that I hit those tips. I really take my time doing this process because I really want to focus on making sure that shape is as crisp as I possibly can get it. Um, I will tell you this though, when you're 
um, doing this part, when you're doing your filing, make sure you're looking at that nail from sidewall to sidewall at each and every angle because it's so important to make sure that you're filing evenly on each side. And sometimes you can miss that. Like you can be thinking you're counting nine, ten times on each side and you're not. So please make sure you're looking at that nail from side sidewall to sidewall from left to right to make sure that you're filing evenly on each side. So the products that I use for her set, I will be dropping them down in the description box. I know that I'm using Gel XR, d and and Eye Gel Beauty for my gel polish design. Um, so I decided to bling out her ring finger. Her middle finger will have the French tips with the baby footprint on it. Her pointer finger will have the cow print. She did want to incorporate cow print in the set. And I made sure that I um that I uh use incorporated the French tips throughout the whole entire set. Um I am going to be applying a little teddy bear and a little lavender cross on the set and I explained that whole entire set to her and she was gun ho for it. She was like it sounds like it's gonna be a cute set. Just, you know, do your own thing. The set came out super cute. I loved it. I enjoyed doing the whole entire set. I made sure that I incorporated everything that she wanted in her set. And she was happy with the set. So, that's what really truly matters when you're doing to, uh, servicing somebody. Is that as long as they're happy, 9 times 10, not all the time that you can make someone happy. But as long as they, you know, you feel satisfied, they're satisfied with the service, that's what matters. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Please remember that practice does not make for perfection, but it does make for progress. And I know I say that a lot throughout each and every video, but I am a living witness to that. I am growing so much, you guys. And I just want to encourage, when I say Practice does not make for perfection, but it does make for progress. I am just trying to encourage you. Hell, I'm encouraging my damn self throughout that whole entire process. But, yeah, uh, thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.
I want to deal with it. But the uh, all due respect, Mayor Washington is...